Well, hello model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ral, and this week I want to do a video for you on my 69 Roadrunner A12 project here. Um, it's getting pretty far along, and some of you have requested me to do certain things and do how-tos on, on a couple of different things. And one thing that's come up is I, I've done wiring distributors and kind of wiring an engine, but uh, I, I go back and forth on actually doing that. And sometimes I just like a clean build like this, and other times I like to add a little bit of extra detail. And it's all in fun. Sometimes it's just challenging myself or knowing I can do it. Other times it's just trying to make the, the build just that much better and enjoying the process. And that's it. Just enjoy the process. If you're going to push yourself to the limit and stress yourself out, you don't have to do that with every build. And that's, that's how I build. If you noticed all of my builds and some of the things I'm doing here. But uh, many of you have asked me to show you how I do this and some tips and tricks. So I'm going to do that in this video. But I want to take the time out to thank uh, Charlie at ProTech who approached me and, and uh, sent me some of his products here. But uh, I'll put his website in the video description below along with his email so you can get a hold of him. And just go there and click on, on his webpage and everything. And I appreciate him sending me his products here to, to share with you guys. And sample here I, I that I do appreciate but I got a couple of them here so first I'm gonna get into when I do these a lot of times I will use the kit issue distributor which is what I got here which I pinned it on um, this pin here and I will generally just drill a big hole in the middle of it and glue um, all the spark plug wires in there that's usually how I do it and I, I tend to like that but um, you just need to get spark plug wire, and uh, he does offer that. Here's spark plug wire all by itself. He kind of breaks these down into little kits. So he does offer this, and also he offers the spark plug wire boots here, which I'll use these on there, but uh, you really can't see them very well on the uh, inside. But I'm going to give these a try, and then glue the wires inside them. So you got uh, that, and then the boots here. And here's one of the distributors he offers. He offers a couple of different versions. It's got a billet uh, shank here and a big distributor cap with all nine holes. So it has uh, the coil wire as well. This is a little bit big for my use here. And I think it'll look a little out of place on this particular one. But uh, I really think this one's going to end up in a 124 scale um, monogram Ravel kit. And I think this is going to end up my 70 Chevelle Baldwin motion as I haven't built that one yet. But I'll assemble this distributor and I'll show you how to, how to do it and drill out each hole. And this is the uh, spark plug boot also. You just cut it into little sections and, and glue all this together. Now there's no vacuum advance on this and none of these have vacuum advance. And most of the distributors I've seen don't have vacuum advance. So I wish they all did, but they don't. And also, he does offer pre-wire distributor and this is much thinner. And this is the one I'm going to use on this one. Although I'll drill this and I'll put the wires in it to assemble it to this point and then um, from that point on building it from here into the motor and wiring the motor will be pretty much the same. So this is the one I am going to use on that and you can paint that because I'll paint the top portion of that tan, leave that and whether or not I add a, a vacuum advance to it or not I, I don't know yet at this point but uh, right now I'm going to get to the point where I get the wires hanging on this and making them look a little realistic and, and routing so that's a lot of the tricks to making the wires look realistic is uh, uh, routing and making them look weighed down where they're not just floating so I'll, I'll get to that here so thank you Charlie and I, I really appreciate this and, and the opportunity to do this and show all of you guys how this it is so without further ado we'll get started okay getting started here first there's a couple of things you're gonna need of course an exacto knife um, I like to use super glue then your supplies of course distributor wires and then uh, um, the kit distributor that I've already ran a pin into the back on and I'll be drilling this one as well and then of course your pin vise drills which I have here and um, I don't use this too much I, honestly um, I like these and this one has all the sizes and there's a ton of different sizes so I grabbed it for this one as I'm really not sure what size I'm going to use or need. But um, I got to tell you, be careful with this. I lost one of the tiny little bits one time. I had some of them off. 
But uh, if you have this sitting on the counter, I highly recommend you leave this lid on it. I won't tell you, but I stuck one in one of my arms not paying attention because it was off to the side and I put my elbow into it. I also have this. This is my pin vise. And I, I've been asked where I got this. I really don't know. I've had this for 20 plus years. I've had it a really long time. I don't know who makes it. It was just made in the USA. It really doesn't say. Just made in the USA. Patent number. But I don't know who actually made it, but I've had it a really long time. And conveniently, it has its own bits in the handle here, and I use these all the time. So these are the bits I'll, I'll use, especially when I do the, the big one on the distributor here. So first thing, matter of fact, I'll get uh, my bits out, and I, I tend to use this big one for this. So we'll put that in there. Open that up here. And then clamp it down. So I'll be using this bit here. It's a good sized bit. And get those going. But first, just a little planning, knowing exactly what you're going to do with it. So I'm going to drill this one, and it's going to be kind of sloppy, but at the same time, it's because when the spark plug wires come out of it, they're not in a nice organized manner. They're just kind of, they just go off in all kinds of different directions. And I tend to recreate that. But when I drill this, um, I need to remember how many wires I'm actually going to add. I won't tell you, but by mistake, I've actually drilled it, put eight in there, and forgot the coil wire. So since I don't know exactly what kit this is going to be used on, I'll make sure I add all nine wires in case I have a coil on that particular build. But since I already know I'm going to be using this one on the A12 Roadrunner, and this has eight wires, and this kit doesn't have the coil on the motor, I'm going to use this, but we're going to get these other distributors, this distributor and this distributor, um, pre-wired, so we'll get going on that here. So my first step is I'm going to remove this lug right at the top. That helps me get a place to start with the distributor, and then get it kind of place to start for the bit, because this distributor is kind of domed. And it's really hard to get the bit started, so giving it something to bite will help quite a bit. And then just uh, start drilling the hole. The scale model car guy. Try and keep up here, buddy. So there we go. Got a pretty good size hole there. And I may have to open it up a little bit more. This just depends on, you know, if I can get all nine wires in there. So there, if you can see that, there's the hole drilled into it. And let's get this opened up here. And this is plenty of wire. He, he gives you a ton of wire in this kit. So first let's uh, unravel it. Hey, Lucas E. Could you keep it down back there, man? Class is in session there, buddy. Thanks. All right. So we'll get one, two, three. Dan Defino. Hey, I know it hurts when you prick your finger, buddy, but it'll be okay. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. And there's the ninth one. Now I'll make the coil wire um, extra long and, and I've still got plenty here and this might be enough for the next distributor. But there's nine there. And I'll get them all bundled up. And let's just get all of them the same length. Alright, so there they are. Let's see if I got enough room in the hole I made. Ron Hamilton. I know it's a little boring, but you try to try to stay awake, okay? Thanks. Not quite. So I need to make that a little bit bigger. And since this is the biggest drill bit I have, I'm going to have to see what I got in my regular drill. 
Okay, so checking in my other drill bits. I've got this 564 bit. So I was using that just to make the hole just a little bit bigger. All right, which uh, did a nice job getting it right in the center there. And let's try again. There's a lot of times I think this is actually the hardest part is getting them all in there at the same time. All right, I can get them in there. Now it's just a matter of getting getting the super glue in there. So I put a little super glue on my tape here. I do this all the time, and I put super glue on the end of this. So we'll get my distributor, get some super glue on it, get that in there, a little bit more. There we go. DJ Bob, here's a napkin. You're drooling all over the desk there, buddy. Now let's get them all in there. I'm cheating. I just twisted them all into a knot. There we go. Hey, Charlie, Mr. Protect. How am I doing? Is this okay? And I still got one that doesn't want to go in there. Sure, I'm mocking it up. I can get them in there. I'll put the glue in there. Fighting me. Okay. All right. Got them all in there. So now let's give that a little bit of time to dry. And let's move on to this distributor. Captain Spears. So nice of you to join us. There's the base. There's that. Now we got to drill each one of these holes out for the size of this. So let's see what I've got in that size. This one maybe. No, a little bit bigger. All right, let's try one of these. Whoa, settle down there, Big Charlie. You're not the only one who has to go to the bathroom. All right, let's see. See the hole there? We'll see if this fits in there. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's see what do I got in the next size up? It's kind of nice that the holes are already started. So it makes it easier to get these going. You don't put a whole lot of pressure, just kind of snug it up, spin it, let the drill bit do the work. All right, so now I got all those holes drilled, made them a little bit bigger, so I can start getting these slid in there and glued in place, and then I'll add uh, the wires to them. So let's see, let's see if we do it this way. Slide the wire in. And Okay, hands down, Neil Jumping Jack Flash. I know you have a comment. Could you save it till the end? There's one. And just got to do that eight more times. Going to be easier said than done. So let's... Uh... And move on to the next ones here. Okay, well so far... You can see I've gotten four in, and it's pretty time consuming, but I'm getting one at a time in. So there's actually the coil and four wires, and then I got four more to go. So I'm going to keep plugging away at it, but uh, you know, for time reasons, I'll, I, you know, you see me put one in since I got to do a total of nine, and right now I'm up to five, and it's it's pretty time consuming, but uh, I just want to show you this is where I'm at right at the moment, and we'll keep going here and plugging away at it. 
Well, I'm getting a few more in there, but as I keep going, I keep getting glue in some of the other holes that I drilled. So I did four this way and then spaces in between. And then now I've got a, because I keep getting super glue in the other holes, I keep having to re-drill and clean them out. So that's what I'm doing here. Clean this one out. Get all of the plastic out of the way. Hey, Ian White. I can't believe you showed up today. I thought you might have ditched it. Here we go. And then now I'll do this one. I keep plugging away at them and keep dropping everything. There we go. That one's in there. Get the glue on it now. And get it in the hole. And push it in with the exacto knife and then that one's in there and I got two more to do that sucker went flying all right I got the last one in there you can see you got all eight of them in there nine of them with the coil and I kind of spread them out so you can see them a little bit better and then the last step on this would be to clean up the base and glue that to it right there and then I'll paint the cap black or tan or whatever color I decide to paint it on this one but uh, that's pretty much assembled and be ready to move on to the next step so there's that one give you an idea what that looks like and then this one now that the glue is dried you can spread them all out one two three four five six seven eight and nine so there's uh, all of those on that and then what I like to do with these when I'm wiring them is I'll have some go across this way and that way because the factory would do that on some of these and then um, I'll move them to their perspective holes don't worry too much about exactly which ones go uh, as far as firing order goes but um, I got to paint the cap tan on this one just a little bit and uh, start putting this on the motor. All right. Give it a little bit of time to dry. But as you can see, I painted this distributor tan. So that one's pretty much ready and I can start spreading the wires out. And uh, while this one was drilled and ready for this one, we'll start running the wires but I'm gonna do this one so I took the pre-wired distributor that uh, Protec offers and I painted the tap the cap there tan again and I'm gonna put that in here so I'm gonna have to drill that hole a little bit bigger there and then I've got to drill the spark plug wires here which go right next to the exhaust manifold so you can see where this is pointing how to drill a hole here 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 and here on both sides and this one's going to be really difficult because right here and right here is where these two go and then the other two go here so this is where studying your reference material really helps out so I'll get the, this going here so we'll get right in here and we'll get this drilled and see how she fits hmm, gotta go in one more size up even after putting all of this away, just cleaning up, always seem to be changing bits out. But that's how this goes. Looks like throttle power is in the house. There we go. So there's the right size. And we'll get that glued in place. Now with a little bit more super glue. So let's get the super glue in there. Hey Charlie Mac, did you bring enough for everybody? There we go. 
So she's in place and we'll let that sit and dry for a second. And I'll put my bit back in here. That was working really good for the boots. So I'm going to try and use these uh, spark plug boots in there and do it that way. Okay, so now it's time to start drilling these. So we'll get that lined up where I want it. And we'll drill that hole. So there, there's that one. And I'm going to drill the rest of these here. So it'll appear fast to you, but it's a little time consuming. Alright, so I got all those holes drilled. So you can see them here. And then really easy to see on this side. So there's all the holes. And so the next step is going to be take my boots and put them in there. So let's uh, open this package and we'll start gluing them all in there. And on these, I'm going to do it where I put these inside and then I'll slide the wire into it. So let's get these going first. So let's get a little dab of super glue in a hole. Okay, I went and got my pliers here. This is going to make it a lot easier. Dip that in the glue. Just There we go. There's one. George Taylor. No more passing notes during class there. Two, three. Don't let that go too far in. There we go. There we go. So there's four on one side. And let's get the other four in there. All right, there we go. So I got those in there. So the next step is going to be take my plug wires, and I'm going to kind of zigzag them around. And I got, let's see, one over here, one this way, this way, this way, that way, this way. So there, we got four going this way and four going that way, and I'll pull them. Now it helps to know your reference material. With uh, these uh, 440s for 69, the factory wires will run right about there, and then all four will run under this side and go to each one of those um, spark plugs. This side, three of them will go behind the alternator and go down and go to those three, this fourth one will go this way and go around to the back, to that side. And then if the if I had the coil, the coil would be right here. But it's going to have a big air cleaner and you won't see it. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. So we'll get these laid down and I'll cut them and start inserting them and gluing them into each one of those. But there's the routing plan right there. Got three going this way. And I pull them and then... See these ones, I'm going to pull down here, let them lay, and pull it that way so that they swoop down, come here, because on the Mopar there'd be a bracket right here and there'd actually be another bracket right here holding the spark plug wires. Of course I don't have those in scale, but I'll just try and lay them to do the same thing. The same thing with this one that goes down the valve cover. I'm going to just kind of push it, lay it down and wrap it around and then I'll trim them to length and glue them inside the tubes 
but uh, the tubes are pretty much all glued in place and that'll finish it up so I'll I'll finish putting those in there I'll do uh, one at a time here and I tend to like to work my way to the back and I'll let them hang just a little bit because there'll be a droop right here so I'll let them hang and uh, I'll pull it down with the, the toothpick but I'll show you all that but first let me get them all trimmed and glued in there all right so let's see an idea on how I'm going to do this so let's get this laid down that laid curled around so here we go get the spark plug pushed in there let's see that one so now I got that one glued in now I just uh, turn this around pull this so that now it uh, follows the path that I want it to and we'll pull that down tweak it so now it droops down and follows around and goes that way and we'll do these rest of these and I need to use the toothpick because open these holes up just a little bit, a little bit more. Just push them open. That way I can insert the wire. Makes it a little bit easier. So, all right, so next one. Let's see, right about there. There we go. There we go. Get that one inserted. And move on to the next one. As these get shorter and shorter. Yeah, so right about there. Okay, and one more. I hope I didn't mess up anybody's names. Sorry, but I hope it was all in fun. But that's what uh, you get for commenting on my videos. Fair game. There we go. Now they're glued in the tubes, and so the next step is just bring them down, tuck them in, and we'll use the toothpick to pull the wires. Let that one hang down just a little bit, scoop down, group them together, and then tuck them in behind the alternator. So that's that side. And then now we'll do the same to this side. Get them to come down, turn, like that. So there we go. Those all grouped together. 
have them make the turn and then I'll put them all into those. Alright, so I got those four wires into position. So you can see how they're in the spark plug boots. And now the glue is in there. And then now the thing is to start weighing them down, press them down, make them appear that they're laying on the engine where that was just me pulling them tight. So now it's just a matter of pushing them back down. Get that right there where I want it. And then pull these down right there. And then start pulling all these down. There we go. All right. So there you can see that they're draped and laying as if they're weighed down and not floating. Let's uh, move this one a little. There we go. All right. So there we are. And then you can continue to tweak them if you need to. Pull them down, twist them around. Let's get them, get them where you want, but I'm pretty happy with these. So I'm liking the way it's laying out, laying down. So that's uh, wiring an engine and distributors and putting some of these distributors together. And pretty easy to use. So I hope that helps you guys and you really appreciate it. I'm going to be putting this in my uh, 69 Roadrunner A12 car. And uh, Charlie, thank you for uh, a couple of samples of your distributors. And please... Check his website out below if you're not familiar with him or if you haven't used his stuff. Uh, ProTech, I'll put uh, links in the description below with his email and his website. And thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys, you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next Saturday.